Hello, Mario Vlogs, number 202, Pressure. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I've been running pretty close to the wind lately, just managing to get things done, and things are getting a bit tight. Uh, I am a wee bit behind on some areas, but I think I'm sort of managing okay. I'm under, you know, I'm not under immense pressure, but, you know, the pressure's there, and it's constant each day, trying to get through to the end of the semester and get things marked and done on time. So um, I'm sort of running a bit of my own agenda and not, <laughs> not really meeting with anyone else's. So today um, I got asked when something was going to be delivered and told it had to be there and this, that and the other thing. And it uh, yeah, set me back a bit. I got a bit uh, a bit annoyed, I have to say. Uh, it took me a little while to get over it. Not, not that I, well, I don't think I showed too much outward emotion, but it just, just annoyed me because you, you're running on, on a particular track and then it, someone throws these sort of things. And I, I hate unnecessary deadlines and that sort of thing. I know that people like to have all these factors of safety and that in there, but I've never, never let anyone down in, in this particular area, area, and I'm not likely to, but yeah, it just annoyed me. So I've been evaluating my reaction to it, and while I'd like to stay cool, calm and collected, I've come up with all sorts of little plans and things that probably aren't good for anyone. But anyway, how we react to pressure. And um, just a sort of how there's two sides to every story. Clearly, the person that's asking these things has got no consideration for my side of the story whatsoever. I'd like to think that I can sort of see where the other person's coming from, but uh, bow to my better judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it was a bit interesting that I thought I was going pretty well. So it's actually been a bit counterproductive from the if I'm just left alone to get on with it, I get things done sort of in a much more timely fashion without any shenanigans. So um, at one point today, I asked my wife. I said to her, tongue in cheek that perhaps she should go along and just tell them that their approach is not conducive to getting the best out of Mario because my wife is well practiced in these things and uh, she knows how to how to deal precisely with with the persona that is Mario so yeah it's been an interesting look at how you deal with pressure, and uh, sometimes I uh, don't deal so well with it. I'm best just left alone to get on with it, and I'll uh, I'll let you know if there's going to be any problems. But uh, I'm afraid that doesn't cut it in the corporate and bureaucratic world. Nonetheless, we'll carry on and get get things done. So that brings us to today's background. And uh, this is a man that knows, well, all about pressure. He's a French mathematician, born in 1623, died 1662. And yeah, so I want to know who he is. And specific relationship with today's topic of pressure. And there's a couple of things there. There's one quite important thing there that uh, lasts through to this day. So who is this guy from 1623 and the best relationship you can find with today's topic? 
pressure. Yesterday's background, of course, was Beverly Pentland, the fireworks lady, who made it her goal to educate the children of New Zealand on the safe use of fireworks back in the back in the 60s and 70s and 80s around that time there. She did a pretty sterling job and stood stood by her opinions through thick and thin. So yeah, Beverly Pentland. So there we go. Today's vlog on pressure, dealing with pressure and the effect that it can have on people. So, I hope you're not under pressure. I hope you're doing things that'll let the old pressure off and you have a marvellous day tomorrow. Cheers! See you!